welcome. On this episode of Abby Normal Garage, Abby has left the building. We will be working on our neighbor's 24 horsepower Cub Cadet Zero Turn. It is a RZTL with a 54 inch fabricated deck. They've had this for a little bit. It's got 249.6 hours on it. He doesn't think it's ever had an oil change, so we're definitely gonna do that. But the big complaint that he's got is when you go to choke it, it doesn't close the choke butterflies all the way by a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. We've already done some basic maintenance to this thing. We blew half the yard off the top of the mower deck. And we'll see what the bottom's gonna look like. We're gonna start by changing the oil while it's hot. To do that, you remove that plug from that hose. So they make it real easy for you. So we went ahead and broke the, this loose. It took quite a bit of effort, so either it's never been done or whoever did it before tightened the heck out of it. Black gold, Texas tea. We're going to go ahead and let this thing drain, then we'll go ahead and pull the oil filter off. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the oil filter, and I guarantee you this is going to make a mess. So, I'm not even surprised. Okay, oil filter's off. Like I said, I knew it was going to make a mess, but at least Cub Cadet left a nice little drain spot for it. Well, while we're doing general maintenance stuff, let's go ahead and blow the air filter out. Yeah, I'd definitely say it needs it. Well, Abby, let's get this thing up in the air and see how, how bad it is underneath. Well, Abby, now that we got it up in the air, what do you think? Let's go ahead and take a look under it. Well, just like we thought, there's plenty of stuff here to talk about. This blade's bent decent amount of stuff packed up under here but check this out this blade is missing a chunk and this blade over here has a crack in it so yeah he's gonna need all new blades for this thing we're gonna start by scraping the underside of the mower deck Abby, don't eat that. It's grass. Abby, you're blocking the light. Abby, you're blocking the light. Don't eat the grass. No. It's not dog food. No. She just misses her brother, Louie. We just got back after spending a week in Virginia Beach. Don't eat the grass, gosh. Well, now that we've made a total mess of the shop floor, it looks a lot cleaner underneath. Got a lot of built up grass out from under it. We're gonna go ahead and set it down and then we're gonna work on the choke. Okay, so let's go ahead and look into our our choke issue here. So right now this throttle's at idle. Let's move it a wide open and choke. Okay. This lever here is the choke and it's not moving nearly enough. All right so the first thing I'm going to do to work on this is I'm going to start it up and I'm going to see what the maximum RPM is using a tack because if I can pull some slack out of that throttle, that'll help our situation. We got our electronic specialties easy tack. So let's go ahead and fire it up. We'll be right back.
so pulling the slack out of the throttle cable does not change RPM much. There you go. That's a win. Opens up. Closes. It's good to go. Okay. So we're still waiting for blades for this thing, so we can't finish this thing up. Here it is Tuesday. We got our new blades, so we're going to throw these things on real quick, and this thing is done. Well, we got these no-name blades from an aftermarket source. They appear to be pretty much full the same as the originals, so hopefully they'll do all right. This is one of the rare opportunities that we use a battery-powered tool. There we go. Oh, shoot, I just broke the camera. Okay. Well, we're going to call this thing done. Well, Abby, we got our neighbor's tractor ready for spraying. I guess it's about time we should get one of ours ready. I think that's the story, and we're going to stick to it. Let's go ahead and show your viewers how we get ready for spring. We're going to take them through the process of getting the mower deck out of the attic and how to correctly install a wheel horse mower deck. So let's jump right to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our 48 inch side discharge on our 1975 C160. Then we'll mow the grass four or five times and then we'll swap it over to another tractor. First thing we need to do to get this mower deck on is uh, Go upstairs and slide it over in front of the loading hatch and lower it down. What's up, Abby? Clearly me. Okay, so here we are up in our attic. The mower deck we're going to use is slid up under right here, so we got to drag it out and put it on the other side of this doorway. Then we'll go ahead and open the door and lower it down with the winch. Abby, does that sound like a good plan to you? To open our loading hatch, we pull down on the cable, like so. Before it gets too far open, we fold in our pieces. Like that. And now you crawl on your knees on this little pathway next to the opening. We have this winch set up on this track. You just go up. All right, it's up in the air. So you slide the winch along the track so the mower deck's over the door opening. And then you just hit the down button. What do you think, Abby? Pretty cool, isn't it? This is the easy way to service a mower deck. It looks like we cleaned out underneath it, but we did not sharpen the blades. So let's go ahead and sharpen the blades real quick. And with our inch and an eight socket, we break our blades loose. So when I sharpen blades, the first thing I like to do is take the putty knife, scrape any buildup off the blades, because it will affect your balance. Like so. Some scale here on that edge. Okay, now I put them on the balancer to see how balanced they are before we start. So this one here is a pretty good balance, but this one here, this side's heavier. So when I go to sharpen this, I'll take an extra pass off of that side. The next step, and this is one of two ways I do it. At my dad's shop, we used our Blue Point AT460. I also have that AmeriSharp blade sharpening jig that you use with an electric grinder, but I was feeling nostalgic, so I'm gonna use my AT460. And basically all you do is you line this up with the same angle of the blade, and you just make straight, even passes. Now you'll know you got the same angle of the blade because it'll grind the edge equally. All right, let's get back. Ooh. 
Okay, that feels pretty good. Now we'll flip it over in the vise. And we'll hit the other side. That one feels good. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on the balancer. See what we think. Okay, so we got this thing over here on the balancer. And it looks like we got it pretty close. So we're just gonna go ahead and go with it. We're gonna sharpen this other blade and we'll be right back. Now we go to install the deck. It's a pretty easy process. We're gonna do it step by step. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take this hitch off. And it's kind of a pain. Now we pop our mule drive on. The beautiful thing is these are all compatible. Any wheel horse 1973 and up uses pretty much all the same mule drive. They're all cross compatible. You just slide it up in here, hit that latch, that's on. Now you come over to this side and on this tractor, pull this pin, pull this pin, undo that, flop that back, put this on the big pulley like so. Then you just put it back together like so by reinstalling the pin putting that in well I tried to do that one-handed but it didn't work in my favor but anyway put that back on so the inner pulley is for your mower deck the outer pulley I think is for tillers and snow throwers okay now for put the mower deck in first you turn your wheels all the way to the left with the lift mechanism up, you slide it under about halfway. From this side, it's actually a lot easier. It's easier to pull it than it is to push it straight. So you gotta make sure you get your rear tire of the deck past the tractor rear tire. And then the stanchion on the deck, you gotta fish it past the tachymatic brackets. <laughs> so you gotta kinda bring it in at an angle like so. No, come on. I don't like the slide on this concrete floor. Okay. Almost. Okay, so we fished it past our rear tire and we fished it past our frame mount. <laughs> now we'll fish it past that. Okay, so now we're at the point where we need to drop our lift mechanism. So how this works is this slot on the deck goes over this lift bar. So we're gonna have to pick it up a little bit on this one. So the next thing to do is flip this up and this piece here needs to line up with this pin, this pin right here. So you kinda that tells me the deck needs to go forward. Uh, let's see. Maybe back a little bit. Here we go. There we go. The deck is installed. Once you lock this in, it's good to go. And it will not come off. Now we're gonna go ahead while we're down here. And I noticed that this is particularly hard on the 48 inch deck for some reason. But your belt goes under this bar, loops over that, and goes over that pulley. Now we come back to the front with our tachymatic. Oh man, that one's broke. These knobs are like 30 bucks too, dang it. But anyway, you go ahead and you tighten this up. So the belt's nice and tight. Now in the 70s they called this the tachymatic. In the 80s they renamed it the attachomatic. You know, as you can see, no tools are required. That's what makes them great. And now all you gotta do is take your lift lever. Well, there you go. Now we have a 48 inch deck on our C160 and we're ready to mow for the season. Like I said, we'll probably mow the lawn two or three times, maybe four or five with this. 
Then we'll swap it over to another tractor to try to keep the hours low on everything. I decided to show how to properly install a wheel horse mower deck because I've seen a couple people on YouTube unbolt brackets and all sorts of crazy things. So I felt like it'd be useful to show. Well, if you find this video useful or entertaining, feel free to like it. Share it with any of your friends that you think might enjoy the content. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And we'll see you on the next episode of the Abbey Normal Garage. You know that moment in your life when you misread the hour meter and you realize it has 10 more hours than you thought and it's due for an oil change? Yeah, we had one of those moments after putting the mower deck on. So we got our long funnel wedged in there going to our drain pan. So far it's working, we haven't made a mess, so that's good. Well, we're gonna go ahead and change the oil and grease all the fittings and stuff while we got it in here. And this sucker's definitely ready to mow.